You hear the saying, running backs come a dime a dozen. Yes, but the really good running backs don't. So when you see a good one, like myself, you better jump on it like the Sugar Hill Gang. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and this preseason edition of Keepers is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. Smell them who's boss. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the top fantasy running backs for 2016. A rule of thumb to consider when you're trying to decide your running back selections is to not look at carries the year before. The big myth is that the amount of carries matter when in actuality it's not about the amount of times you carry the ball but what you do with those carries instead. If you're a crash test dummy running back that can't make people miss then yes your carries will look a lot different than the elusive back. Keep that in mind as you're making your picks. It's a big reason why you see Adrian Peterson as a first round pick in many fantasy leagues still in 2016. He defies all football logic just furthering the thought that he was created in a Texas laboratory. He will be the Vikings focal point of their offensive attack regardless of whom they added at wide receiver. That's another rule to keep in mind, the feature back. The feature back will get the bulk of the carries and therefore will give you more opportunities to rack up the points. Only a few tandems work like Gio Bernard and Jeremy Hill. Chris Johnson and David Johnson, Kitten Play, Bebop and Rocksteady, Cagney and Lacey, I mean Starks and Lacey, my bad, which is why selecting any one of those guys will lead you to consistent play every week. Stay away from backs that are paired with passing geniuses like Sean Payton. The Saints have tremendous talent in the backfield, but Payton will rather throw the football 65 times a game instead. I hope that Payton understands that it's not illegal in the state of Louisiana to actually hand the football to either Mark Ingram or CJ Spiller. Sean Payton would rather sign me and give me carries over those two guys. A tough, rugged, desperado sleeper to keep an eye on would be rookie Derrick Henry because he's in the perfect situation to get eased in as a rookie. He will get a lot of red zone carries and goal line opportunities. Henry's rookie season will mirror what we saw Maurice Jones Drew do in his rookie year paired with Fred Taylor. Also, the benefit of having a mobile quarterback in Marcus Mariota aids in a running back's ability to get to that second level just a little bit easier. He'll steal a lot of short yardage touchdowns away from DeMarco Murray. A few more backs to consider grabbing late that'll pay huge dividends. Duke Johnson because of his receiving ability and working with Hugh Jackson who views him in the same scope as he did Gio Bernard. Reggie Bush because he still has very good skill set as a complimentary guy and San Diego Chargers second year runner Melvin Gordon as he'll crack a thousand yards this season behind a revamp Chargers offensive line. So that's a wrap for this preseason edition of Keepers presented by Old Spice Red Zone. Smell them who's boss.